Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to build a simple servo driven door lock which can be locked and unlocked using an RFID tag or card. The RFID sensor which we're going to be using is the RC522 which is connected to your Arduino using the SPI interface. We're going to be setting up the circuit on a breadboard first to get all the components working and register the two RFID tags which we're going to use to lock and unlock the door. A green LED will indicate that the RFID tag has been successfully authenticated and will then trigger the mechanism to lock or unlock depending on the previous state. A red LED will indicate that RFID tag has been read but not authenticated and therefore the mechanism will remain locked. I used a simple 3D printed lock mechanism and designed a servo bracket to hold the servo in place behind it. You will need to set the servo arm movement limits in your code so that the servo arm doesn't move too far in either direction. Now that we've completed our circuit, let's have a look at the code. The serial numbers for the accepted tags are stored in an array at the beginning of the code. We then set the travel limits for the locking servo and then run through the setup code which connects to the RFID sensor and creates a startup LED sequence. We then wait for a tag number to be read. The tag number is then sent to a function which checks to see if the tag number is in the list of accepted numbers and then either activates the lock and flashes the green LED or flashes the red LED to indicate that the tag is not accepted. I'm going to be testing the RFID sensor out with three different tags. I'll be registering the white card and the blue tag in the code. These ones will lock and unlock the mechanism. The black tag will show up as a tag on the red LED that won't unlock. So let's test them out. So it looks like our three tags are working correctly, so now let's put our components into a housing and mount the lock onto the door.
Our components are now contained inside a sensor box, which can be placed on the outside of the door and our locking mechanism on the inside of the door. Let's try it out. You can see if we try and read two tags together, the system won't unlock. I hope that you enjoyed this project. If you'd like to build your own, then visit the links in the video description for a step-by-step -step guide and links to download the 3D print files and the code.